Hey, welcome back. This is Pete Draxon from LetPetePlan at gmail.com, an agent from Boardwalk Travel Agency, along with my beautiful wife. I'm Jewel Dragstrom. I am an independent boutique consultant for Style Dots. You can find me at Jewel, J U L E, dot Style Dots Home dot com. And we even have a live studio audience. It's Wyatt! And uh, every <laughs> once in a while, we might have some animals walk uh, come in Wandering. during this. Uh, we're uh, we're going to discuss Hollywood Studios Part 2. And this time, uh, hopefully, it's just one take of Part 2. Um, and uh, last week, we talked about the food... We talked about table service, quick service, and maybe some snacks. And that leads us to a little bit of tips and tricks, and then maybe do what kind, what's our favorite attractions. So are there any tips that you might want to share with the audience um, uh, today? <laughs> um, my biggest tip, I would say, just start especially for hollywood studios definitely don't forget your sunscreen yes definitely it is a very warm park a lot of reflective surfaces a lot of um, concrete a lot of concrete um and there's a, not a whole lot of indoor items really there i mean like till you get inside like the queues a lot of them are outdoors mm -hmm. so i would recommend definitely making sure you have enough sunscreen on and don't skimp on sunscreen can i just say that um, sunscreen, a lot of times people will want to spray just a little bit and then they kind of spread it all over their body. That isn't going to do you a whole lot of good with the spray. The, the spray um, for most of us, um, we have to kind of put on a, a pretty thick coating and you have to let it air dry. And sometimes mm -hmm. that's not always the most comfortable way to do it. But if you want to keep everything tattoos, skin in general, um, maybe you've got an area that you've had surgery on, keep those things covered, folks, because honestly, it's so easy to get sunburned at Hollywood Studios. And also reapply every once in a while. Yes. Um, it, it You you will sweat. <laughs> it's just one of those givens. Mm -hmm. It is very hot, uh, especially nowadays in Central Florida. Um, not just Hollywood Studios, but Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Magic Kingdom, but definitely at Hollywood Studios for the reasons that Jewel said. Um, like, couple, you know, we're going to be talking probably about Slinky Dog. There's mm -hmm. really not. I mean, there's some man-made shade that they got little umbrellas out, but there's no... You don't have a lot of big, huge trees covering, covering you up. Um uh, that's that. Um, one other tip, uh, one tip that I was thinking of um, was that um, it's escaped me now. I don't know what it was. Oh, uh, shoes. And this goes with any, any park. Um, and maybe not, it's definitely uh, Hollywood Studios. In don't skimp on the, on the comfort of your shoes. Um, don't go into the parks any parks, and I think I've mentioned this on previous videos without mm -hmm. her, um, don't wear brand new shoes either. Um, yeah. Uh, break them in before you go. Um, I always wear, I'm, I'm wearing Hoka's now, and I will tell you, they've made a world difference. Um, Hoka's got, Hoka's, Brooks are a very good shoe. Um, if you're looking for a little, if you don't want to spend a bunch of money on your shoes, there's Asics that are a gel. There are also New Balance that are fairly decent price, and they all have better cushioning than the average. Try, and, and some people will recommend to you Crocs. Um, I'm not saying that Crocs are bad, because for some people that really works. If you don't have a whole lot of stamina and maybe aren't, built for a lot of walking then you probably need a better shoe than that hey, please but, but they can they work very well um they can work very well a lot of people wear crocs and a lot of people recommend them in the water in particular yeah um that's another thing is um 
Hollywood Studios, not a lot of... Well, there's no water rides. No, but there's not a place to hide. If it does rain, yeah, you're, you're stuck right. outside. Yeah. But um, so, some things... And you might, you know, at least get a change of socks at the, if you, if you yes. have to. Because blisters do occur when, when the feet get wet. Um, you got a new pair of shoes online... That are um, they waterproof. Are, they are called Vessies, V E S S I, and we uh, and, and they are a waterproof shoe. And I'll tell you now, they the, they kept that water out. And really we're not getting we're paid imposed. by any of these no. shoe companies. No, unless they want to. <laughs> you know, Vessie, we would love you to be excited about uh, that. But hope they are the same way. Yeah. Um, but uh, Tommy Bahama, which I'm wearing. If you guys want to, you know, sponsor, you know, we're always welcome. We're always there. <laughs> but um, shoes I, are important. I will give you another quick tip. Mm -hmm. Just inside the parks when you're coming in, um, there is where you're going to be getting like a DAS pass. Um, there, There is a guest relations place. There is mm -hmm. also some lockers there, folks. Yeah. That, they have places, um, if you don't want to carry a lot of stuff around. Any parts um, have, have lockers, lockers up But in front. Hollywood Studios, it's right inside your entrance yeah. on both sides. So but, yeah. don't don't miss that because I will tell you those are um, those can be very helpful. And I, from what I understand, the ones in Hollywood Studios are a little bit easier to access. Um, to access. See, I've, I've never used them for one. We use well, it's a smaller park, too. It, yeah, so it is a small park, and we usually we always decide that we if we're going to buy anything, we'll buy it at the end instead of. Well, some people all like to say that like, doesn't always work. They may take the <laughs> stroller for a while, mm -hmm. but the child wants to to go around. There are even some of the parks, and I'm not positive which ones when I tell you this, um, have larger lockers than others. Mm -hmm. And so the, um, but the lockers are directly inside in, in Hollywood Studios. And because the park is small, you're not going to ever be too far away from any of that stuff. So maybe, you know, you decided you wanted to keep, you know, the extra bag with the food and snacks and that kind of stuff in it for later on for lunch. You've got, you've got plenty of chances to get to it. So, okay. Um, so... Uh, and, and with any tips you have to think is one of them is just always make sure um, you're prepared for the elements too. Um, whether it's an umbrella, a poncho, uh, right. bring it ahead of time. You don't want to go end up buying a poncho or buying an umbrella in the parks that cost much. Do as I say, not as I do, because the last time we got caught in a big rainstorm and I was in the park, I ended up purchasing a couple of umbrellas. Now, um, yeah, they, and they also, but all that can be expensive if you're adding those. And one lot. thing I do want you to say is in, in the case of, and I, I think I mentioned this in another, in the case of inclement weather, and they do shut things down. It's not the person who's at the front of the line telling you that it's closed down. It's not their fault, okay? Be kind. Um, it's, it's their, they're doing it for your safety. Um, but, and you might not understand, well, shoot, I can, you know, I'll go. Don't worry. And maybe you, they don't make that call. You're used to the weather doesn't mean everybody there is. Right. Yeah. It's kind That's of something I think about that when I walk around. I think, well, you know, people are in these jackets, and I'm thinking it's not that cold. And then I think, well, I've lived in, uh, lived up north for a while, so maybe for me that mm -hmm. may not be, but for everybody else it might be. I like to, I like to point it out. It's like a southerner in a snowstorm driving. They don't know how to drive. And it's okay. And it's okay. It's normal. They them. never have done it. Um, so you got to be aware of that aspect too. Um, you know, anytime there's lightning in the thing, th these rides are so. Uh, there's know, so many pieces so many pieces to, to it, yeah. and they sometimes they stick up so. High. I mean, I I wouldn't want to get caught on uh, on uh, Tower of Terror during a lightning storm. Um, yeah. 
just wouldn't. Um, okay. Now, um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the attractions. But first, I'm going to go over some height requirements um, for... Did I do it last time? Or are you sure that wasn't the first? Oh, don't know. I'm going to go over. <laughs> I'm going I'm <laughs> to I'm re rewind. If I did it, I apologize, but I'm still going to do this because I think it's important. Um, there are four different height requirements. Of, uh, and, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Um, attractions that have height requirements. First one is alien swirling saucers, and it's 32 inches. And it's the, I mean, if your kid's under three foot, um, be three foot eight, no, two, two foot eight, uh, you are, you're okay to ride alien swirling saucers. Huh? And that they have to be at least 32 inches. Um, and then it bumps up to 38 inches for two. Um, Slinky Dog mm -hmm. and the Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run. You have to be 38 inches to ride those rides. And then you go up to 40 inches, and that is Star Tours, Rise of the Resistance, and the Tower of Terror. 40 inches. And then finally, the tallest, the, the one that has the tallest... A height requirement is at 48 inches, and that's the rock and roller coaster. Now, I'm going to say this. I might have said it before. Don't try to get away with getting someone who's too short to be on the ride. Just don't do it. It's it's it, They're there for your safety. I'm, that's all I'm going to say. You going to say anything? No, okay. Wow. No, because I know that got said already. You, you, okay. Uh, I'm just making sure. Wyatt and I watched it yesterday. Oh, see, you should have told me that ahead of time. Oh, I didn't. I don't remember if we did this. Oh, I knew the okay. last part you said. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know about the rest. So now, um, do we want to break it into areas? Uh, do we want to say what is our favorite? Um, and remember, we're talking about Hollywood Studios. Um, I don't know. I don't... I, um, probably let's break it into areas, because okay. I think it'll be a little bit clearer if you know the layout you're going through. Okay. Um, okay, then I'm just going to go... Okay, we're coming into the park, and we get up to the trolley car cafe, and mm -hmm. we decide to make a right down towards... There's actually three attractions down there. Mm -hmm. Well, four. Uh, you, get a, you have um, Tower of Terror. Mm -hmm. You have uh, the Rock and Roller Coaster. And then there's a Cars attraction there with Cruz Ramirez and, uh, and Lightning. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then you have, isn't that a Beauty and the Beast, Beast sing-along right. yes, or something is. like that? Yes. And then, of course, Fantasmic is there during the nighttime thing, but we won't. But we yes, won't. those those four are there. I, to be honest with you, I'm not a big thrill rider, um, so I, I've ne I personally have never been on rock and roller coaster. I've gotten up to almost where we were ready to walk into uh, Tower of Terror, but they closed it down for some reason. Um, and Tower of Terror has a tendency to be closed down more often than not. Mm -hmm. um, so you kind of got to watch. It's open and the wait time. It's bad. I will tell you one thing. The earlier in the day you get there, probably the better off you are. Because I think the heat really takes effect on the Tower of Terror. And later in the afternoons, I notice well, and I, I'm it wondering loses, if it it's harder. Does it, and see, well, we. Uh, I'm wondering if it also has something to do with it because it's so tall that they don't want anybody on there in case lightning well you, like this that. happened yeah. even when we went with sharps and that was it was at later in the afternoon and i don't think it was anything mm -hmm. to do with like storms or anything it was just a matter of afternoon i think the equipment that's a that is a like a giant elevator and elevators that mm -hmm. takes up a lot of 
energy and, and a lot and, of heat. And I will for tell that. you how long ago that was. We got actual fast passes, not lightning lanes for it. Yes, but that we were even offered uh, uh, because we were on the right at the time and we were getting off. We we were offered another a fast pass uh, for the day in case that one didn't. And Pluto is looking outside. <laughs> you know, my buddy Pluto. You no, know, the the whole the whole crew. There's a cat over there and a dog over there and just everybody's having a good time we're, in the corner over there. We're in a live studio <laughs> audience. Um, rock and roller coaster. I've never ridden. Um, no. Our oldest, uh, Nick, has ridden it a couple times. Um, and then did you take Wyatt? Did you and Corey um, one time and do it on that uh, cars thing? No. Is there? Uh, I so, have not. Be honest with you. Only we really do, the Beauty and the Beast. We've been to that. That's that's the one thing I can say we've been to. I don't remember that. We have. Are you sure I went? I think so. Or did you go with Corey and Wyatt? No, I think you've gone. Okay, maybe I've been. We've gone a couple of times. We've done it a couple of times. I really never remember. I've seen it. The musical, yeah. Yeah. With the whole whole cast, and it's a place to cool down. Actually, last time we did it, I know who we did it with. We did it with Mariella Sharp. And That's I the think last Randy time. and yeah, us were doing I don't, else. I don't, yeah. You guys may have been lined for Tower of Terror at the time. Okay, uh, that, but that we might did go see that. Um, and so it's a really good show if you haven't seen it. And um, the the whole thing is is I don't want to say interactive, but you feel like you're kind of part of it. You feel like you're mm-hmm. really a, kind of watching a a Broadway play, for lack of a better word, or music. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about that's in that area is Fantasmic, which yes. is the um, main uh, nighttime show at Hollywood Studios. Yes. Um, it's the one that's more permanent because there's there are some that are um, like, you know, come around the holidays that will right. be there. But, but that's that. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's good. Um I would suggest to get a not a not a lightning lane or anything, but I would get like a package. Uh, I think we got it because we had the meal, and then um, yeah, we got special seats. Um, well, we we got it once, and then we got rained out once too. Yeah, you they, guys they, got rained out. They will. Gonna... They will. If there is lightning, mm-hmm. they will cancel the show. So I don't be too disappointed if that happens, and it's especially now, folks. Because this it's, is for one, this it's on is the, the water. rainy season right now. It is on the water, and there's a boat and stuff. And, and so, if you're coming right now, <laughs> if you get rained out, I'm sorry, or lightning down, uh, I'm sorry. They used to have. Uh, I don't want to say castle show because it wasn't the castle, but on the Yes. Um, Grumman's, which is now Mickey Minnie's Rail- Railway. Back then, it was the Great Movie Ride. Uh, they used on to the, have a, on the Grumman's they Chinese have, Theater. Kind of, yeah, on the Grumman's Chinese Theater, they had they had projections and fireworks uh, that were more um, that were different uh, for a while. They, I don't know if they have them now, but. Um, I don't know that they do either. But um, okay, so that was good. Okay, now um, coming back up, and then we were in kind of a hub area. You have Mickey and Minnie's Railway, Runaway Railway, Runaway Railway. It's um, very hard. I don't to want say. to say Runaway because then I go with <laughs> Runaway. Um, it's a very hard and then word there's, phrase to say. And then there is the Frozen sing along, which which is in. A, a building that used to house an American Idol attraction. Um, and f- that's kind of it in the, that central thing. And then you go on a little further. And there's... But the, the Mickey's Runaway Railway, folks, is a whole lot of fun. It's It does not... It, it's a roller coaster in some ways, but it has no track. So it's a trackless you, you, ride. Yeah, and so if you've you are... been on Remy's um, in, in Epcot... Uh, it's kind of same. Uh, well, there was and one and other, if you um, haven't, that you're going to start out in what looks like a you're going 
down a track kind of a train and you're part of a train right and, and then um as goofy has a tendency to do goofy screws things up and yeah. So you, gets, you um, yeah. kind of end up in a big mess. And, and it's fun. It's, it's fun. Um, and it's actually a good way to cool off, too. Yes. Uh, once There's you get lot. out from the line that's, you know, um, it is one that I would suggest getting a lightning, lightning lane. lane for yeah. or uh, using a um, Genie Plus yeah. uh, uh, choice for that. Um I have one thing on this I will tell you. If you have somebody that has seizures, the ride is very much a kind of a black light with neon mm -hmm. lighting. And there's a lot of flashing wind, a lot of sensory things. You have somebody with autism. Um, you have somebody with seizures. Those Both of those things you need to be really careful for because this ride definitely is an over overabundance of sensory. And on a scale of one... To five on the uh, motion sickness thing, I would say this is probably a one. Um, it does you are moved around a bit, but I I don't think I don't it's really no that I didn't bad, I it? didn't think it was too motion. Um, well, it's a little Remy's is from a different point of view. You're you're not in the same point of view with Remy. It, it's sort of like you're the smallest thing there. Yeah. You don't have that with this. You're the you're your regular size. You're a cartoon. Yeah, you're a cartoon. You're and part of the cartoon. It. You're part of the cartoon. Um but it is a very good ride and it's a whole lot of fun and it's still fun to go in and see cuz the Grandma Chinese Theater, the theater part of it actually hasn't changed a whole lot mm -hmm. on the inside. They've kept that the same. It still feels like a theater. So instead you can see movie of, posters. Instead of you of uh, the movie posters, you have more of the um shorts. The, but, yeah, the Mickey Mini or the Mickey Mouse um, shorts. And my uh, favorite, and Potato then, Land. Um, and it is all in the style of the uh, newer yes. uh, style that you would see. Now, that takes us over to the Frozen Sing Along. And it is actually. I might, you know, have to hand in my man card for this. It's a very, I like it. I really, really like it. It's a very, um, it's it's kind of a uh, well, it's interactive. Uh, it's a story. I mean, it's it's the frozen story a bit, but it's told in a different way. Um, it's kind of a continuation a, in some ways, and uh, it's got some good AC. <laughs> it's and, definitely um, frozen. Yeah, um, not. I mean, you don't go out going like this. Although you, it is kind of a shock to the system, walking out of that building into <laughs> the Florida heat. It, 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 it whoo. And don't be surprised if you do feel like you need a sweater in there, because I think it gets a little cool on the inside. Uh, I went not that long ago with Wyatt. And we sat there and we watched it and it was fun. Um, and you're just, you're watching something. It's all you're doing there. You're, yeah, you're, you're watching. Not, it's not a ride. Yeah, but it, but uh, as it says, it's a sing along. So all those all those songs that you heard, if you have if you if you have kids that <laughs> were little, little girl in particular, uh, were at that age when Frozen came out and all you heard was, let it go, let it go. I'm going to strangle you if you sing it again. <laughs> yes. um, it is, it, you know, they were there and you sing it and, <laughs> um, and you are the guy who's singing along with it because you've heard it 5,000 times in your head. But, um, it's cute. It is cute. It's very cute. Um, now, uh, leaving there, uh, I guess we can head down towards um, Star Tours and Muppet right. uh, Vision 3D. I think we have stop at Muppet Vision 3D because that's the first thing you're going to kind of encounter yeah. um, before you actually get into the new Star Wars land. There's the Muppet. Well, no, I was t I'm thinking Star Tours, which oh, is Star off Tours. to the yeah, side. Star Tours is there also. There's Star Tours, and that's uh, that's still... it's I 
I almost thought you were that they were asking going to do what it. one of my favorite rides was. Star Tours is actually one of my favorites. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty good. It's 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 you're the pilot. No, that's um, you're in in the thing. The pilot and the one is the Millennium Falcon. Mean, yeah, huh? You're in a somebody else is taking you. It's you're in a. But you're 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 from the pilot's point of view. Ignore <laughs> him. It's okay, really. That's yeah, it is. You are. But there, you may not be the pilot of the ship, but you're basically there's, in a. There's in a different. Ship. There's different scenarios each time. It's not like oh, I've already rode that. I you know I have to. Yeah. No, you you come up, and that's the, that's the beauty of this thing, is that they've changed it. They they, you, they have the capability of changing it up each time. Um, I don't know if I've ever been in it more than I mean the same scenario more than once. Um, I don't know. I, maybe I have. Maybe I, I have, haven't. I think, years ago. I don't know that I have recently. But, um, and they, and it used to be when there was a new movie that popped up, a new Star Wars movie, they would create one for that Star Tours. But Star Tours is pretty good, especially if you like old school Star Wars, because you see some of the same characters. Um, yeah, see C-3PO, R2-D2. Yeah, um, it's pretty neat. And they have a cool little gift shop on the back end, um, mm-hmm. which is that. Now, if then there's Muppet Vision 3D. Yes. And it is one of my favorites, along with Frozen. But, um, it's just silly Muppets. It's the same thing over and over. I could probably recite some of the same lines. But it's also, um, it's cute. It's, it, it's what... I grew up on with the Muppets. It, it reminds me of the old Muppet show. Um, and, but it's 3D, which is even better. Well, you get your little glasses, you go in. Anything about Muppet Vision? Yeah, kind of. Okay. I didn't know if you wanted me to talk yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's okay. Um, it's a short indoor wait, which is kind of nice. Very you don't indoor. have a very long wait. There is a hallway for... If it gets too long. Um, but you're indoors mostly. Um, it is definitely a lot of references to the old original Muppet show. So that has got... I mean, even on the way in, you're going to pass doorways of um, names that you'll probably recognize. Um, and um, if you, one thing we did... I did notice this last time that when we were in... We did find out that you could be in the front of the theater with a handicapped person. We'd always thought it had to be in the back. The front of the theater, you have more interaction. We found out that a lot of the, like the bubbles and a lot of the um, sounds, things were very close to us in the front of the theater, and we'd never really experienced that until this last time. This is one where I will will tell you, pay attention to the details, but even in the queue, um, look at the, the little, the decorations around the room, and... There, there's so many references to um, Gonzo and, and all the, all the other Muppets and things like that. It, it's really cool. And just like Jewel was saying, when you're coming in, you see the doorways leading to somebody's office. That is, <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Uh, and uh, and don't forget Statler and Waldorf are always there. And they're there. So. And as they say, they there. We can't leave. And you might even catch Mickey Mouse if you watch. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, then you're going to be heading into where? Oh, uh, Galaxy's Edge. Um, you leave. Well, Literally. it used to be used to be you had a cool gift shop there, but you don't have that anymore. No. Um, but if you go around the corner from there, you go through the tunnel that leads into Galaxy's Edge. And um, and it's a good, the tunnel, I will tell you, is very quiet. It's good if you, like, you have somebody with autism, again, and they need a place mm-hmm. to kind of slow down in a quiet place, that's yeah. a really good option. It's a good quiet place. It is a very quiet place. Um, and every once in a while, you'll see people taking advantage of it. Um, cool. Out. And it's also a place that if, it, if there's a pop-up thunderstorm come through, pop into there. Yep. Uh, unless you want to find somewhere else. Um, 
but that's it, it'll shade you from the uh, the elements. Yes. Now there's two in Galaxy's Edge. There's two um, attractions. Um, lots of food, two attractions, lots of gift shops. Um, the best. Um, it's the e-ticket attraction is called Rise of the Resistance, and it is it's all it, it's all it's hyped up to be. It's a very good um, attraction. Uh, it's so hard to describe it without spoiling it. Um, needless to say, you know it, all of. All of Star Wars is a battle between the Rebel Alliance and the Empire. Well, that's the same way, but the but it's more, um, you know, you're part. You're the rise of the Resistance. You're part of the Rebel Alliance, um, and then get captured, of course. You know, but we won't go on any further. You, do, I mean, there's some really cool photo opportunities too. Um, of the um, stormtroopers and, and other things too. And then there's um, Smuggler's Run, which is the probably one of the most impressive looking builds, I think, Disney and yeah, Lucasfilms ever did, even from the outside. Yeah. And that's the Millennium Falcon. It, it really looks amazing. exactly like you picture the Millennium Falcon there. And what's even better is if you get a chance to go on the inside. I don't think you've ever been, no. and, and you've never been on the other one. Mm -mm. I've been on both. One of the and because um, somebody has to watch Wyatt. Well, and also usually, yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. Um, I usually was with Nick on that, and you guys were, and then you guys can probably talk more. You can probably talk more about the, another land that's coming up too. Uh, the Millennium Falcon has, of course. Now the, in here you're either you, you play a part you're either an engineer, uh, a pilot, or um, I can't think what the other one was and stuff. And you're actually flying the Millennium Falcon. Um, and uh, as you wait, there's the uh, chess board and place where you sit down where you see Chewbacca and and R2 and and C3PO playing in the thing. Um, no Wookiee ever comes up and rips off your arm if you are beating them. But it's a good, and it's actually a good little photo opportunity if you want to go and sit down and watch it. Um, it it's pretty cool. Um, it's not as, I, I like Rise of the Resistance probably better um, than Millennium Falcon. And the Millennium Falcon does have, you, you will have, Some motion sickness stuff, and I think that's the same way with Star Tours. Don't you? You can, yeah. You can. Those both, I yeah. I would say, if you're talking one to five, I would say, if you're somebody whose stomach is not real good, I definitely mm. put you to three there. Mm. I mean, you're kind of in between. You have to be kind of careful. Don't eat a whole big meal. Yeah, and I, I'd say it's the same way with uh, Smuggler's Run. Um, it kind of depends on who your pilot is, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you get lucky enough to be the pilot, um, it's it's a blessing and a, and a curse at the same time because you you have somebody else's enjoyment of the attraction in your hands, <laughs> literally. Um, but that yeah. so as you travel through uh, the rest of uh, Galaxy's Edge, you might run across some stormtroopers or. Yeah. Or Chewbacca, or sometimes Ray and, shows up. Ray, Ray and Chewbacca sometimes show up. Yep. And um, but and it's really cool. It's a very interactive area. Um, you do think that you, you know? Of course, you get you see the you and see if you want and, to build a lightsaber, it's you can the build place a, to go. You can build a lightsaber. You can build a droid there too. Um, yes. They have little places to build droids. And don't now. think everything's really expensive. The, a lot of people will say, oh, that's expensive. Well, it's because they added every extra that, that was possible. Mm -hmm. um, the actual, like, getting a lightsaber there is really, the basic lightsaber is not as expensive as you'd expect. You can, you can purchase 
a yes. lightsaber that already you would made. make already made, and it's the same of the same quality as what you make, but you also for less than what you would build one for, but you also don't get the. Well, you don't have as many. You don't sounds that you have yeah. like with the one that you with you the one you make. You can kind of choose your sound. Yeah, you can choose, you can choose how the your, coloring works. You, yeah, you can, you choose, can choose it. And you are you are you pay for actually it. building it. It's a process, and it's and it's really cool. It's just it's kind of a it's it's an attraction in itself. Yes, it is. Uh, I've never done it. I don't I don't we've, choose we've, to do it. Because, we've been there while they've done it though. But, um, and then um, and then we walk up a little ways, and then we see this big huge statue of Buzz Lightyear, and we're not. In Galaxy's Edge anymore. If you keep following around, you're going to eventually go around and find him. So you're going to find Toy Story Land. Yes, you are. um, And that's probably my favorite area. It's a really cool area. It's one... I wish it was cooler. I mean, literally cooler. Physically, you didn't need a fan. There is... There are three um, attractions there. Mm Mm-hmm. You have the alien swirling saucers. Yes. Slinky dog dash. Mm-hmm. And, and Toy Story. And Toy Story Midway Mania. Mania. Yeah. Um, have you ever done, you've done alien swirling saucers, haven't you? Um, I, I didn't. Corey and Wyatt did and it. And I have they, done it. They, I did I it with Wyatt say, also. I think maybe I did it one time. I did it once. I, did it, um, I, do, I don't do a whole lot of round rides because I don't feel good after them, so I don't do too many of them. It's, it's I've done them once, I do believe. And it. Uh, I don't want to compare it to the, the teacups in Magic Kingdom. However, I want to compare it to the teacups in Magic Kingdom. You can control the spin a little bit in your cart. And you've also um, got... It's a different kind of... I mean, yeah. your teacups are... Um, I mean, you're kind of swirling around, which you do a little bit with this, but it's more of a swinging motion. It's got more of a. Um, it's on a. It's on a like an arm and you know. Uh, yeah. It's and, almost a blend of the teacups and Dumbo. Yes, it is. Or it's, it's, any of those other. It sort of rides. reminds me of like when you were a kid and you had spirographs. Yeah. And yeah. you'd play with the circle and you can mm-hmm. get it to make very elliptical shapes and depending on where you put your pencil, you could make it a different shape. This sort of has that elliptical feel. It it kind of goes in an an ellipse, and it'll change its location depending on kind of how how the cards are sitting. Yeah, I yeah, I like it. It's okay. It's it's one of those things that you're going. Oh, okay. Wyatt so, loved it. He did. He loved it. He did. He did. He very really much loved did. it. And I think he loves the next one we're going to talk about. Yeah. I'll let you go on with this one, Slinky, because uh, the Slinky Dog Dash roller coaster. One of my very favorites, mm-hmm. and it looks just like Slinky Dog does in the movie. Mm-hmm. The whole contraption looks like Andy made it, mm-hmm. and there's blocks and crayons and popsicle sticks and light Christmas lights and all kinds of things that you would find in your home, and it's been created into a roller coaster, and you are the toy. Um, so you're going to end up in Slinky Dog Dash. One thing... Um, the queue is very long. He said that earlier. The, the queue is very long for that. And there's not, there is a little bit, once you kind of get up near the ride, you've got some fans um, mm. that are running and, and they keep you a little mm. cooler. But the ride usually goes clear out to the edge. Yeah. And there's not a whole lot of shade there. The occasional man made umbrella, and that's about it. Um, and so I think they do have definitely. fans in those now. And now they do. I don't know if Where? they did at the very beginning. Yeah. But with each of the the, the umbrella th- things, I think they have little fans in there too. Going. Oh, okay. I think. I'm not sure. I think they've... Uh, because I remember when it first came out... They didn't. That was... that They were saying, oh gosh, it's too hot. It's too hot. So they kind of revised that a little bit and put some fans up. I think. Yeah, and the like I said, and the ride a long time, sometimes, not always, but like 
certain holidays sometimes and and like or even um like kids before kids go back to school or right after they get mm-hmm. out or whatever sometimes uh, that ride can even go as far as almost down by where woody stands and that's kind of far away yeah. considering he's kind of the opening for toy the, story the, land yeah the he's land. kind of the whole whole land um, and it follows you down but it's it is very it's fun there's a shooting thing where um when you're in it you get to a certain point as the roller coaster is going around uh, or getting to, at the very beginning where um, you get to something and it's almost like somebody has pulled you back and then you spring forward. Like a slink. Like a slink you would be, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you you get that effect. And if, if you are somebody that doesn't do roller coasters, it may not be for you. Um, I definitely, again, I would go maybe even up to four on this one as far as nausea three to four somewhere in there depends on how it depends depends on how well you do a roller coaster and it also depends on one it depends on how hot the day is yeah um you're if you if you're going up there and you're already feeling kind of you know it depends on the heat can the heat can contribute to that um you know because there's been days where i've ridden it and i yeah it's not too bad and then there's days where I've ridden it and I'm going, mm. The yeah. last time I wrote it was, and I was sitting with Wyatt, um, I felt that way. I felt a little... Ugh. Yeah. And the same way I... That was a hot day, though. The that same was. way I also felt when we did uh, Expedition Everest yeah. over Animal Kingdom. But. Yeah. Um, and then their next part... And then there's the- Midway Mania. Toy Story Midway Mania, and it's a live video game. You are part of the video mm-hmm. game, and you are playing. Um, there, I will tell you, there are lots of flashing lights, and there's also a lot of that neon color thing. Can so be. Be careful can with be sensory. Can be very sensory and sensory uh, overload. seizure overload. Yes. Um, it's great. It is probably, if it, it's the biggest holdover from... Before Toy Story Land was built, um, Midway Mania already was there. Um, well, they I moved think that, it. They I think there it. was already plans in the. There might have been, or they might have said, "Hey, this is really good." I mean, it was always. It used to be. It used okay. It used to be that you either went at Rope Drop to Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, or. Toy Story, Toy Story Midway, Midway Mania. Mania. Yeah. Um, because the lines were very the long. The lines were very long. Yeah. Um, and then we started hearing rumors about um, them building a Toy Story Land. And uh, and by the way, there, happened, there are the fun way. things in that queue also, though, mm-hmm. to t- get pictures of. Oh, because yeah. Because, again, it's, it's Andy's idea, so you you have giant blocks and you have... Toys as you walk up the way, there are toys. There are, are so many cards cool and... photo ops. Yes, there are. In that whole, in the whole Toy Story land. Yeah, not that, just Midway Mania, but I mean, you just got you got the two big. You have um, Woody at one end, you got Buzz at the other, and then on uh, Slinky Dog Dash, you have Jesse and Rex, kind of holding the. Oh, and like you, the, heck, uh, you forgot the penguin. Oh, and then you got the penguin at the end. Oh, and, such a uh, good opportunity. And, and you got to... Anybody that knows music mm-hmm. will be bothered a slight bit at the very <laughs> end because the, the the music you see on the page is not the music he is singing. So just ignore that. Only she will... Uh, it drives me a little bit crazy. Just I a little bit. That probably drove Mary Ellen that way too. But I'm sure it did. Either that or she probably couldn't see it. So. Um. Ooh. Oh, I can't nice. believe I said that, Mary Ellen Sharp. Believe. It was all Jewel made me. I um, <laughs> but then we head out, and for Do, well, there's there is a section for we don't have kids that are very little, but there is the section for um, like a Disney Junior. Oh yeah, that that's there, and there mm-hmm. is um, you have a uh, Little Mermaid. The little um, I'm not sure if that's I, open anymore. I don't either, but it's still there. It's still we there, yeah. Know. As you were walking out of Toy, uh, Story, Toy Land. Story Land, you come up to a kind of a T, and one way is 
where old Pixar Road used to be. And now, actually, that the, that way is more, they have a bunch of incredible meet and greets, mainly. And the mode, uh, sometimes, oh, sometimes okay. you have um, yeah. uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ingram. Um, and then um, yeah. there's that. But then you go the other way, and you're heading back to the main part. Um, you have... Uh, one man's dream, which is um, well, you have the Disney. You, you and then you yeah, come up, right? Then you come up to the Little Mermaid thing, and then you go around the, in that. It's folks, kind of the Disney Junior Courtyard. The di- I will tell you the um, you said the one man's dream. That's a good place to cool off to, mm-hmm. and it really tells a good story, mm-hmm. and it's really interesting. If you've never been by there, it's a good place to go. We were with we we met a couple at uh, Epcot, and they said how much they enjoyed that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right after we got off American Adventure last time. Yes. But um, then you have the Disney Junior. Uh, you have some meet and greets, and then there's a like a little dance party inside uh, for Disney Junior. And kids. folks, there's nowhere to see Bluey. No matter where you go, uh, Bluey is Bluey not. Bluey is there. not owned by Disney. Now and it is on Disney Plus. But, but it's not owned by I've Disney. had people ask me, where's Bluey at? You can't find Bluey in the parks. You're not going uh, to. Unless you see it on somebody's t-shirt. Yep. And that is... And occasionally you do. And occasionally you do. Sometimes I might wear mine. Um, but, uh, and also, which is still shocking to me, is there's a Star Wars, um, I can't think of what it's called, uh, but it, it's a meet and greet thing too. You have Chewbacca, uh, yes. BB, BB-8. Um, I think sometimes Darth Vader and stuff inside. Um, and you uh, also you also have to be post. careful. The stormtroopers like to come through that direction, yeah. direction when they're first coming. It here. used to be it used to be kind of the central part of anything. Star Wars would come out, and then they would have those. Used to have the Star Wars, the Stormtrooper march, yes. up and down the thing, and then now they, that they on, now that now they're that, on their own land, now they that kinda, Galaxy's you see them Edge last. is there, yeah, you, see, you don't see them in the yeah. regular parks anymore. But for attractions, that's about it. Um, yeah, used to be a park that had very street uh, performers, um, yeah, citizens you, of Hollywood used to be around. And ironically, I'm noticing that um, some of those guys that played and gals that played uh, parts in that are now showing up in places like Frozen Sing Along Land and stuff like that. They are they are taking different parts, so we won't. That that was kind of kind of kind of shocked me because one of my that was one of the reasons why it always was one of my favorite parts is because you had those interactive things in the streets and stuff. And they it had, still they, is a favorite. Part they of had mine. characters kind of from your like an the old 19, radio, old 1930s, radio show. 1930s, 1940s Hollywood. Um, yeah. The glory and, and 20s. Yeah, the glory age of Hollywood, um, and these people would reflect that. And then you had citizens of Hollywood. You might have some construction workers who were trying to, you know, but they were bumbling fools that, um, that trying to get stuff know. done. And it was funny. It was always funny. It. That's the way it used to be, um, and that was one of the reasons why it used to be, still is one of my favorite parks, but that's not the reason oh, anymore. And another tip, we kind of forgot this. Yeah. We were talking about this. Um, Grauman's Chinese Theater, folks, go up and look because the handprints. Mm. Uh, a lot of mm-hmm. that's been copied mm-hmm. and put in. To, it's always to been Hollywood there too. Studios. This yeah. is this is this the is way not it was. anything new. Some but, of them, some of them, but there's some of the ones you know when it was uh, MGM. Studios when it was an actual working Hollywood studio, well not Hollywood but it was a, a studio, a, yeah. a, a movie picture studio. They did some TV shows there and I think they even filmed a couple movies there. They would have people who actually put on, in their own handprints and then they had replicas of older ones too, yeah. uh, from uh, you know all that, of that's that, still there. Okay. It's all there. You can still find much that. like the we talked about the Brown Derby and the characters. Um, yeah. That was still there. Um, in that animation courtyard, in that first courtyard, every once in a while you'll see characters like Donald and Daisy show up all the time. Um, 
Uh, sometimes you will see the um, Incredibles or, you know, or I know you know, else Chip and Dale, forgot. too. What? We also forgot to talk about where to shop there. Oh! Because they've got good they shopping. They do have good shopping, yeah. I was going to say, their Main Street, just sort of like you've got Main Street in Magic Kingdom, you've yeah, kind of the got their Emporium. Main, the Emporium kind of idea in, in Magic Kingdom. You have something similar to that here. You've got um, the main thoroughfare that has a couple you of have You have shops. like one shop that's basically all Disney, and then you have another shop on the same side, but there's a little street that you have to go across. Um that has a lot more of, the Marvel of the Marvel and, and Star, Star Wars, Wars stuff. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, just like at uh, Magic Kingdom, you have a row of shops that kind of connect uh, that have uh, things like pins and um, yeah, you've got a lot of um, um, a lot of your your little things. Right now, you're getting a lot of the hundredth anniversary stuff. And I will tell you too. Then you you get to the trolley car cafe and you turn to your right. Uh, folks, if you want to know where you you know the Pandora bracelets that everybody mm -hmm. collects, they have the Pandora shop in there where you can collect a lot of unique uh, charms to go on there because they're all Disney. Some of them are on sale, folks. I got one that was mm -hmm. going to be the limited edition was almost done. Mm -hmm. um, it was Than Thanos's the Infinity Stones, which was a whole lot of fun. Did you get that there? I got that. I well, I got. I don't know for sure. I got it in one of the places, but I did get but it, it was at Pandora. a Pandora. It was Pandora. Um, yeah. But anyway, there is a Pandora there. There is also on in that same one going down the tower by the Tower of Terror. If you continue down that row of shops on your right hand side, um, you will come. Uh, you come to. There's a lot more men's things there. We've noticed that. Good clothing. Too. Good clothing that's there. Um, you also get some of the, you know, the dresses, ladies, that are kind of the cosplay dresses. You've got that there. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a lot of... Or really, gentlemen, if you're into that. Uh, if you are, you never know. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of, of different... There's less of the t-shirts. and I mean, there is a there, few t-shirts, but there's not you as You find those in other parts? Parts? Uh, parts? Sparks, parts. If you go across the street, there's a row that is more Pixar. Yes. Um, and it has some of the Pixar yeah. stuff. Um, other places around the parks that you can shop at, um, there is there is a um, a couple of places in Galaxy's Edge. And we did talk about the lightsaber and yeah. the bot. So the and then droids. you have uh, there is a Toy Story. It's kind of hard to explain where it's at. It's kind of behind. Midway Mania, there's a little pathway that will lead you to, I think it's called Jesse's Toy Barn or something like that. It's not like, if, you, yeah. if you're fans of um, Toy Story 2 and Al's Big Toy Barn, they don't have one of those. Um, they need that though, don't they? they? Would, I, 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 would, I would say I that, think Al's that, that was one of the really things, cool. I think when it was first made, I think they were going like, Okay, where's Al's Toy Barn? Because that would be the perfect spot for uh, merchandise. Um, I wish they had that though. I uh, do. All right, yeah. but that they're... those are the good. They do have some unique shopping. It's a, it's a place if you're looking for that unique item that you want, especially Star Wars. I got lots of. I got one one other spot that is kind of weird to say, but um, there's. On that same thing with the Pixar stuff and the and the clothing and the Pandora yeah. stuff, there's a little open air um, pin, sh pin yeah. shop. There is um, on the it would be on the left side if you're going towards the Tower of Terror. Be on the left side if you're coming across. It would be on the right side, of course. Yes, but uh, but they have some pins there, and I think back. I think they have a few. Um, kiosks uh, back towards uh, Rock and Roller Coaster and uh, that Cars thing too. And I think there is a tw uh, um, gift shop at Tower of Terror. I've There's, never been there. There is also one where? There's one up where, where the whole Edna Mode and that 
stuff is. Where's that one that's... I, I think there was. I don't think there is. Oh, there is not. Though. Okay. Maybe I'm being correct. Sorry about that. There used to be because that used to be like Pixar area. And that used and to be... That, of, that, and until they made Toy Story Land, that was kind of the... Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. There was some... There used to be some there, but... Uh, other than that, uh, I think we're done. <laughs> um, yep, that's all uh, Hollywood Studios. And Hollywood. we might take a week off and then come back to you with... Do you want to do Animal Kingdom before Epcot? Oh, no, we're or... doing Epcot next. We're doing Epcot next. So we might want a couple weeks of research. Yeah, definitely going to need Even though we're going to be doing some Magic Kingdom research this week, because we'll be at... <laughs> The Magic Kingdom. And we will see mm-hmm. a Magic Kingdom. Anybody's going to be there. We'll be there on, on Thursday. Thursday. And uh, we wish you, between now and Thursday and any other day that you see my ugly mug on the videos, <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll be able to have my buddy Pluto come walk with me to, tomorrow and we might do something. And we wish you a magical day. Goodbye. Bye.